and you're probably wondering, first off, why is he wearing dress like this? And what are all these paints doing out for here for? Well, you're going to find out. <laughs> In our reading today, we are going to learn about Frida Kahlo. Frida Kahlo, if you notice, I kind of look like her. That's what I try to dress up as. I try to dress up as uh, Frida Kahlo today because we're reading about her. So Frida Kahlo was a rebel artist. Frida Kahlo is famous for many things. She's famous for her artwork, especially her stunning, surreal self-portraits. She's, uh, she's also famous for being a rebel, but perhaps she's most famous for being a feminist icon. Frida refused to act as everyone expected a woman to act. She did what she wanted to do, and she described her life story using art. So today we're going to be learning about Miss Frida Kalu, a rebel artist. As we're reading about this, I want you guys to think about what our writing project is today, what you guys started on. How do we describe a hero? So at the end of this, Ms. Martin's going to share a little bit about why I think Frida Kalu is a hero to me. Let's get started. So, um, Ms. Frida was born in Mexico City in the early 20th century. Frida Kahlo never expected to be an artist. She wanted to be a doctor. But when she was 18, a bus crash ended her dream and very nearly ended her life. She was speared by a metal handrail and broke so many bones that despite many, many operations, she suffered terrible pain for the rest of her life. <laughs> that kind of reminds me of when I was younger, I was in a, um, a car crash as well, and I got a concussion. Definitely not as bad as Ms. Frida Kalu, but we both were encountered with some sort of challenge or um, something horrible that happened to us. But Ms. Frida did not give up. Frida had always loved to paint, and now she decorated her body cast with beautiful butterflies. When her parents gave her a special easel that she could use from bed, she painted on canvas too. Hmm, that's interesting to me. I'm interested in that, how she was able, from the challenge, from the situation that she encountered, she was able to find the beauty in it. She found the beauty of painting on her cast. Let's see what else happened. Many of her paintings were self-portraits that showed her agony. At long last, she began to recover, and eventually, she was able to walk again. So she was pretty much bedridden, which means she was in the bed for a very long time because of this accident. I saw a word that was um, a little bit different, maybe a word that you guys haven't heard yet before. It said many of her paintings were self-portraits that showed her agony. I'm wondering, and I put in, I boxed it in green, what the word agony means. Stop this video, we'll look at the sentence, and think, using my context clues. What does agony mean in the sentence? What is the meaning of it? Your context clues are the words surrounding it. Pause the video, think about it. Miss Martin was able to use so she had, she was able to use her words around to help her figure out or make an inference on what agony means. So we know that her paintings and self-portraits, so that's what she was painting, a self-portrait. That means a face just like this. She was painting a self-portrait that showed her agony. So it showed something happening to her. Well, what happened to her? Oh yeah, she was bedridden. So I, she was bedridden because of an accident. She was hurting, she was physically hurting. So I am able to make an inference that agony means something difficult that someone's experiencing, something hurtful or harmful. Let's go on to see more about Ms. Frida. Frida Kalu was a communist. She believed that land, business, and property should be owned and should be shared by everyone. In 1928, she met fellow communist Diego Rivera, a Mexican artist famous for painting murals, 
and asked what he thought of her work. He saw how talented she was and encouraged her to paint. The next year, they were married, but their relationship was stormy. They divorced in 1939, only to remarry the following year. Hmm, that's interesting to me. Many of Frida's paintings so show the turmoil she felt. So what was interesting to me is that they said after um, a year, they had divorced, but then after another year, they got remarried. So sometimes our life goes up and down. There's challenges that we encounter, sometimes they're down, but then we find love again and we find happiness again. I think Frida's life really shows that sometimes life does go up and down, but we got to be ready for that up. There's always be optimistic for that up or in hope for that curve word up. <laughs> so one word, I, one sentence I saw that I'd like to um, have you guys focus on was many of Frida's paintings show the turmoil she felt. The word turmoil is probably a new word for you and I'd like you to think about the words around it. How can I make an inference on what turmoil means based on the words surrounding it? So once again, it's paintings showing something she felt. Right now, she just felt a lot of different things. As I just said earlier, her life was going up and down. She had just gotten into divorce with her husband. So I'm thinking turmoil probably means some difficult times. Okay, and let's see what happens now with Frida. Let's see how she's going to continue on with that upward curve of her life. Frida's artwork was very distinctive. Her bright, symbolic style reflected Mexican culture. Her colors were vibrant, but they held meaning, too. For example, to Frida, the color of leaf green symbolized sadness and science. Yellow stood for madness, sickness, fear, and joy. So when I think of yellow, that's why I have yellow right here, and yellow right here, I think of joy. And I was very joyful to dress up and to create this setting for you guys in this read aloud because Frida Kalu is definitely one of my inspirations. So that's why I chose the color yellow to represent joy. Um, her paintings and her idea of color representing something reminds me of something. It reminds me of poetry. Think about a poem we read where it represented an animal, represented something. Take a moment. I'm thinking of the poem Caged Bird by Maya Angelou. We read that in the beginning of the year. If you remember, I, uh, the caged bird was trapped. It was trying to get free. And I think that's kind of like people. It represented people. Sometimes people feel trapped and they're trying to get free. So some symbolism, or when something symbolizes something else, represents something else, can be seen in artwork, and it can also be seen in reading. In 1938, she traveled alone to her first solo exhibition in New York City. More followed, and soon her work was displayed around the world. But still, she was only famous for being Diego Rivera's wife. Meanwhile, illness plagued her and her health worsened. Frida Kalu was not well known until more than 20 years after her death. Today, she is one of the most famous artists in the world. While her work is often described as surrealism or magic realism, she denied this. She said, I never painted dreams. I painted my own reality. So that kind of concludes our reading for today. What I'd like you to think back to is our inquiry. How do we describe a hero? Maybe how was Miss Frida Kalu a hero? How was she a hero in her own life? Okay, after you're done thinking about that, what I'd like you to do is write some observations you have about Miss Frida Kalu and some inferences. So, for instance, Ms. Marangara would write, I observed, she used color to represent, so I observed, 
They said she used color to represent emotions. So my inference is when she was joyful or happy, she was going to be losing yellow in her paintings. Because remember they said um, she felt that yellow represented joyfulness. The last question I have for you guys to do is why did Frida create art? How did it impact her? So on a piece of paper, after you're done doing your observation and your inference, I'd like you to answer this question. Why did Frida create art? How did it impact her? Thank you for listening to my read aloud. Um, I hope you guys have a great day. Um, yeah, so just remember, you can be your own hero. How is Miss Frida Kalu a hero in her life? What does hero mean to you? Those are in the last ending thoughts. I'd like you guys to think about. And you'll see me tomorrow. I will be dressed up again as Frida because we're going to be discussing her a little bit more. Pieces.